Hey, what's going on guys? We've got another set of practice questions for medication dosage uh, calculation questions. Uh, before you watch this video, I obviously have a, a video that kind of teaches you this formula and this method. Check that out on my channel. Um, this video is not to kind of guide you through the basics on how to do it. However, we're going to review the formula at the beginning. This is more uh, of, a, of a video that uh, just guides you through some practice questions to get you more comfortable with applying this formula. Once you learn how to apply the uh, formula, you can basically use it for 99% of the medication dosage practice or medication doses questions you'll get uh, throughout your career. So he here's a quick review of the formula that we're going to be using. Once you learn this formula, you can apply it to a whole vast variety of questions. So on top, we've got the desired dose represented by D. That's how much we want to give the patient. On the bottom here, we have H. H is the amount we have on hand. That's uh, what the medication uh, comes in. And vehicle, this is the part that most people get mixed up uh, after reviewing the comments of the, uh, the last uh, practice question video. Um, this is what we're gonna be focusing on a lot in this video because that's where most people go wrong. And you divide, so essentially what you do is you divide the desired dose by the amount you have on hand, multiply it by the vehicle, and that'll give you the amount to give. Uh, let's try some practice questions. So let's take a look at this practice question. A patient has ordered one milligram of Ativan PO. Ativan is available in 0 0.5 milligram tablets. How much do you give? So we've got the formula up here and let's start filling in the gaps. So the desired dose is obviously how much we wanna give the patient. And how much do we wanna give the patient? Well, it's one milligram. So we're gonna put that up top here. Now, how much do we have available on hand? Well, the question tells you that it, it's available in 0 0.5 milligram tablets. So that's what we have on hand. So the bottom part of this formula is going to be 0 0.5 milligrams. Now, let's focus on the vehicle. So for questions with tablets, the vehicle is a little bit uh, uh, more straightforward because it's 0 0.5 milligrams per every single tablet. So obviously the tablet is going to be one vehicle and we're gonna specify that it's one tablet just because going forward when the questions get more complicated, um, this is going to, to work much better when we go into like for example, volume related questions where you're giving uh, milliliters instead of tablets. So now we just have to solve this question. We have one milligram, uh, we have one milligram divided by 0 0.5 milligrams that will give us two. If you're following along with the math, the, uh, the milligram units cross out. So we're gonna do two multiplied by the vehicle, which is one tablet. So therefore we will give two tablets. Uh, again, this is a very straightforward question, but once you get this formula down pat, it will be much easier going forward for even more complicated questions because you do it the exact same way. Okay, let's try question number two. So a patient has ordered 0 0.25 milligrams of digoxin. Digoxin is available in 0 0.125 milligram tablets. How much do you give? So just because um, you have more decimals here, it doesn't mean you change anything with the formula. You have to do it the exact same way. So what's the, what's, let's start with the first part. What's the desired dose? Well, obviously it's what we want to give the patient and we want to give the patient what the patient has ordered. So 0 0.25 milligrams. We're going to put that up top here. How much do we have on hand? Well, this is another tablet question. So we have uh, 0 0.125 milligrams available. And it, uh, it says that in the question right here. So we're gonna put 0 0.125 milligrams on the bottom. And going to forward to the vehicle, it's a tablet question, so it's rather straightforward. It's 0 0.125 milligrams per tablet. So in every one singular tablet, you're getting 0 0.125 milligrams. So we're gonna put one tablet right here. And again, it seems super basic at this point, but um, you're going to need to remember how to identify the vehicle going forward. So let's just solve this. 0 0.25 milligrams divided by 0 0.125 milligrams, milligrams cross out, that gives you two. Two multiplied by one tablet gives you two tablets. So you're gonna give the patient two tablets. All right, so question number three. Uh, doctor writes an order for a patient to receive a one-time dose of 1.25 milligrams of bisoprolol. 
At this hospital, bisoprolol is only available in five milligram tablets. How much do you give? So let's take a look at the formula up here and let's solve it the same way. Feel free to pause the video and try it on your own and then come back to see if you got it right. So the first dose or, or the first part, desired dose D, how much, how much do we want to give the patient? Well, we want to give the patient what is ordered. So we want to give them 1.25 milligrams. We're gonna put that up top here. The next part, how much do we have on hand? Well, it's only available in five milligram tablets. So that's what we have on hand. We're gonna put the five milligrams down here at the bottom. And once again, this is a, 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 a tablet question. So we have to identify the vehicle. It's rather simple in this because it's five milligrams in every single tablet. So once again, the vehicle is one tablet. Let's solve this question. So we have 1.25 divided by five because the milligrams cross out. That's going to give us 0.25. We're going to multiply that by the vehicle, which is one tablet. Therefore, we give 0.25 tablets, or in this case, a quarter of a tab. Okay, let's try question number four. A palliative patient is required to receive two milligrams of Versid for terminal restlessness. Versid is available in two, in two milliliter vials. The concentration of Versed is five milligrams per mil. How much do you give? So this question is going to get a little bit trickier, but we have to solve it the exact same way. So let's start with a desired dose. Obviously, that's what we wanna give the patient. So let's read the question. A palliative patient is required to receive two milligrams of Versed. So that's right here. So the desired dose is obviously two milligrams. We're gonna put that on top. The next part, H, what is the amount we have on hand? Well, let's take a look. Versed is available in a two milliliter vial. So this question gets a little bit tricky because this part right here in, in, in a two milliliter vial, that's completely not relevant. It doesn't matter how much uh, of the medication is in the vial. Um, it could be a, a 30 mil vial, a 50 mil vial. It doesn't really matter. What matters is the concentration, the versed is. So the versed is five milligrams per mil. So the amount we have on hand is five milligrams. And the vehicle we would give that five milligrams if we wanted to give five milligrams is one milliliter. So this is why it's, it's really important to uh, be able to identify the vehicle properly. Um, just reviewing that once again, it doesn't matter how much is in the vial. What matters is the concentration of the drug you're giving. And in this case, it's five milligrams per mil. So this is what we're going to do. We're gonna do two milligrams divided by five milligrams. Milligrams cross out, that's gonna give you 0 0.4. We're gonna multiply 0 0.4 by one mil, and that's going to give us 0 0.4 milliliters. So again, identifying the vehicle, that's usually the, uh, the toughest part to kind of wrap your head around, but we're gonna have more questions going forward. That's gonna uh, help kind of guide you through this. All right, so I added a part two to this question just to kind of prove a point. So this question is very similar to the last question. A palliative patient is required to receive two milligrams of Versed for terminal restlessness. Versed is available in a two milliliter vial. The concentration of the drug is 10 milligrams per mil. So the only thing that's changed is the concentration of the drug. It's still available in a two milliliter vial, but last in the last question we discussed that that's not relevant in how much of how much is in the vial. It's more relevant of what the concentration of the actual medication is. So let's try to solve this one and see if we get a different answer. So D is the desired dose. Same as the last question, two milligrams. So we're going to put that up top. Uh, H is the next part of the question. So that's the amount we have on hand. And in this question, it's 10 milligrams per mil. So we have 10 milligrams on hand and every 10 milligrams comes in one milliliter. So the vehicle is going to be this part right here, the one milliliter. That's how somebody would get 10 milligrams if we wanted to give 10 milligrams. We don't wanna give 10 milligrams, we wanna give two milligrams. So we're gonna put one for the vehicle here and now we just solve. Two divided by 10, uh, the milligrams cross out, that gives you 0.2 and we're gonna multiply it by one milliliter. So two multiplied by one milliliter is 0 0.2 milliliters. Um, obviously that's, that's different from the last question because the concentration is different. 
So I hope that uh, kind of stresses the point that we really don't care how much is in the vial, we care about the concentration and how this, this medication is being delivered to the patient. Okay, question number five. A patient with an infection is ordered 3.375 grams of IV Piptas. Piptas comes in 4.5 gram vials. How much do you give? So this question's again, a little bit different than the previous ones, but we solve it the exact same way. So D, desired dose, is going to be how much we want to give the patient. They're prescribed 3.375 grams. We're going to put that up top right here, as always. How much do we have on hand? Well, we have 4.5 grams on hand in every vial. So the amount we have on hand is 4.5 grams. Remember, that's the amount of medication we have on hand. And what's the vehicle? Well, in this case, Piptas comes dissolved in, uh, in, in like a, a powder form in a, in a vial. And therefore, it'll be one vial. That'll be the vehicle. And I'll tell you guys how to reconstitute that after. It's not really relevant to the calculation, but it's good to know. So you just solve this as a, as a regular question. So you've got 3.375 grams divided by 4.5 grams. Grams cross out, and that's going to give you 0.75. We're going to multiply it by the vehicle, which is one vial, and therefore it's going to be 0.75 vials of, uh, of Piptas. Um, how do you do that? Well, typically Piptas is, is reconstituted with 20 mils of normal saline. So if you put 20 mils of normal saline into a vial, how much are you going to give? Well, you want 75% uh, of what's in that vial. 100% would obviously be 4.5 grams. We don't want that. So we want three quarters of that, which would give us 3.375. So if we put 20 mils in, we would have to multiply 0 0.75 multiplied by 20, and that would give us 15 mils. So basically you draw out 15 mils, you put it in your IV bag, and you'd run it through the patient. Question number six, a doctor orders 30 milligrams of Lasix IV push. Lasix is available in a 40 milligram, in a 40 milligram per four milliliter concentration. Each vial contains four mils. Uh, pause this, try it on your own and come back for the answer. So how much, what's the desired dose? Well, the desired dose is how much we wanna give the patient. In this case, what's ordered is 30 milligrams. So we'll put that on top. Next part. Uh, what is the amount we have on hand? Well, we have 40 milligrams on hand that comes in four mils. So we're going to put 40 milligrams on the bottom. Now this part gets a little bit confusing because each vial contains four mils. Well, this is not where you wanna find the four mils because it doesn't matter how much the vial contains. What matters is the concentration of the, uh, the, concentration of the drug because here it's 40 milligrams in four mils. That's the vehicle that you're gonna find. How are you getting the 40 milligrams? Well, you're getting it in four mils. So the vehicle is going to be four mils. And then it's just, we solve it once again. So we do 30, div uh, 30 divided by 40 milligrams cross out. That's going to be 0 0.75. We're gonna multiply that by four mils and that's going to give us three, uh, we'll multiply 0 0.75 by four mils and that's going to give us three milliliters. Um, so it's very important to be able to identify the vehicle correctly in questions like this. Question number seven. A patient has ordered 250 milligrams of erythromycin PO. Erythro erythromycin is available in 0 0.5 gram tabs. How much do you give? So we're going to learn another thing in this question because it's, it will throw you off a little bit it, um, because it's something we haven't seen before in this series where um, the units are different and in order for this formula to work, the units must be the exact same. So let's take a look at this question. What's the desired dose? Well, we want to give the patient 250 milligrams. We know that. So we're going to put that up top as always. So that part's easy. But now the bottom part is in grams and we can't have this in grams. So we have to convert it to milligrams and that converted to milligrams is 500 milligrams. That's what the, what the tabs are available in. So in order to get the H, we have to uh, convert 0 0.5 grams to the same unit as the, uh, the desired dose, which is milligrams. 
I mean, I guess you could convert both to grams. However, it's it's both it's much easier to uh, work with uh, with number with bigger numbers such as uh, 250. So uh, we have 250 divided by 500. What's the vehicle? Well, it's 0.5 grams or 500 milligrams per tab. Therefore, the vehicle is one tab, and now we solve milligrams cross out 250 divided by 500 is 0.5. We're going to multiply that by one tab, and that will give us 0.5 tabs. All right, question number eight. A patient has ordered 1,000 milligrams of Keflex for a UTI. Keflex is available in 250 milligram tabs. How much do you give? So this one's a little bit easier than the previous ones. Pause it and try it for yourself. So the desired dose is obviously how much we want to give the patient. A patient has ordered 1,000 1, milligrams of Keflex. That's how much we want to give the patient. So that goes on top, same as always. The next part, Keflex is available in 250 milligram tabs. So that's the amount we have on hand. We, the amount we have on hand is 250 milligrams per tab. We'll put that on the bottom. What's the vehicle? Well, the vehicle is, is simple in this one. Every single time you give one tab, you're giving 250 milligrams. So therefore the vehicle is one tab. We'll divide that. So this, uh, the milligrams cross out, 1000 divided by 250 gives you four. Multiply that by one tab, therefore you're giving four tabs. Okay, question nine. A patient is ordered five milligrams of Haldol Q4H sub Q PRN. Haldol is available in 10 milligram per mil concentration. Each ampule contains two mils. How much do you prepare for each dose? So this is the question that was at the very last part of my last video where um, people watching would just put the uh, answer that they got in the comment section. And a common theme came up where people were having a very hard time identifying the vehicle. Um, if you got uh, most people got it right, but the people that got it wrong, it was clear that the vehicle part threw them off because they were looking at how much is in each ampule. It doesn't matter how much is in each ampule. What matters is the concentration of the drug. Could be could be you know a, a bucket of Haldol it doesn't make a difference. What matters is the concentration. So we're going to solve this question. D is the desired dose. How much do we want to give? We want to give what the patient has ordered, five milligrams. Um, the next part is uh, going to be H, how much is on hand? And in this case, we have 10 milligrams per mil on hand. So every mil that you give, you give the patient 10 milligrams. So the amount on hand is going to be 10 milligrams and the vehicle is not going to be the two mils. That's just you know the the container that uh, the medication comes in. It doesn't matter how much is in in the ampule. What matters is the concentration of the drug. So the way you're getting 10 milligrams is by getting one mil. So therefore, the vehicle is going to be one mil. And then we just solve it. Milligrams divided out. Five divided by 10 is 0 0.5 multiplied by one mil, and that gives you 0 0.5 mils. So question number 11, a patient has ordered 20 grams of lactulose to help relieve constipation. Lactulose is available in a 10 gram per 15 mil solution. How much do you give? So pause the video, try this one on your own. And once you get the right answer, put it in the comment section and I'll, I'll do my best to reply whether you're right or wrong. So thank you very much for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to try to put out some more videos a little bit more regularly. And uh, thanks for watching.